hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use and install color grading and skin tone lot in adobe photoshop and adobe premiere pro i'm going to be showing you two methods or two ways you can use to install lot in adobe photoshop so the first step is by using the lot in photoshop through your color lookup table so to do this we have to press ctrl j on our keyboard to first duplicate the current layer then you move to create new adjustment layer and select color lookup once the color lookup is open you are going to see this 3d lot file load 3d lot so this time i'm going to be using load 3d lot and click on load 3d lot so i'm going to be using this lot from dirty studio magic retouching pack so to get the lot i'm going to be using you can purchase it from www.dirtystudio.com then you move to shop menu and you are going to see a list of actions and lots that you can use to improve the way you edit your picture so now i'm just going to go back to photoshop and open this magic lot pack so the lot i'm using now i'll have to move to black magic and let me just use one of these slots so i will just select black magic contrast so now when you open this lot folder you are going to notice that sometimes you might not see the lot you are looking for or the lot might be empty this is because of this file here if you move down here sometimes it might be 3d l5 so once you open it you are not going to see anything here in case you do not see anything here and you are sure that your lot folders and file are in this place just move here and change it to the lot folder name you are going to see cube at the last ending so once you change it to cube file all the lot is going to show so so now i'm just going to use black magic contrast to double click it and when we zoom in the picture you are going to see that the lot has applied on the picture this is the before and this is the after if you still wish to change it to another lot you can just go back to your 3d lot file here and load it again so now i'm just going to use this magic black lot or use another lot i want to just use this black magic deep once you select this lot it's going to change again and let's look at the before and this is the after but you can still use any other lot again let me just go to the last lot i'm going to use here this black and white so i'm going to be using this black and white brown shadows when i double click it and it's going to change to the black and white color so now let's look at the before and this is the after but if you still wish to only apply this lot in some part of the images like you don't want to apply it everywhere of the picture or you don't want to apply it on some part of the picture just select your brush and increase the brush size so this time you make sure that the box above which is the foreground color is black and the one below which is the background color is white by clicking on this two arrow icon facing the box or you can press x on your keyboard to change it so now i'm going to make sure this one above is black so i'll just zoom it select my brush and start applying it on the places i don't want the color to apply on if you feel that like you make mistake just press x and you can correct the mistake by bringing it back so now i'm removing it again from these lips i'm done with the lips so i want to remove it through from the eye too you can just increase your brush size and remove it from this part of the eye and this place too so now i'm just going to delete this color lookup layers and move to the next process of installing and using lots for color grading or skin tone in photoshop so this next method i'm going to be installing it into photoshop folder once we install it into photoshop folder and we want to use it once we move to this color lookup you are going to see that some lots has already saved here these are photoshop lot files that are already saved in the lots folder once we install it into photoshop we don't have to be loading it through this load color 3d lot again you are going to be seeing everything here and uh, which is very easy and fast so to do this just close the photoshop first you have to close the photoshop application by clicking that x icon then just select no once the photoshop is closed we are going to be looking for where we save the lots 
folder then i've seen the folder this is the magic lot pack so now i want to move to the black magic i want to just select all the lots in the black magic and press ctrl c to copy or you can right click and select more option then select copy once you are through copying it i want to then look for my photoshop main folder you can find your photoshop folder in the windows c section so once i've clicked on this windows c and now i want to move to program files once the program files is open you are going to see adobe now once you select adobe we are going to be looking for adobe photoshop since i am using adobe photoshop 2022 i'm just going to open this adobe photoshop 2022 folder and then next you have to move to preset once the preset is open you have to move to 3d lot now once the 3d lot is open you are going to see all the lot that has already save in your photoshop all you have to do is to right click and select paste or you press ctrl v all the lots that we paste is going to save into photoshop so to check if this lot has already saved in photoshop all you have to do is you just click on the photoshop application and allow it to open the photoshop is open now we want to import in pictures into the photoshop so we want to just import two pictures once you have selected the pictures you want to import now just click on open the pictures is going to show the next thing now is to look for the lot that we save into photoshop to do this just move to create new adjustment layer and select color lookup once the color lookup is open we are going to just click on this 3d lot file now we want to look for the lot that we save and as you can see this is the black magic lots that we save one two three four five six we save six black magic lots so i'm just going to click on this black magic deep color and you see that the lot has applied on the picture this is the before and this is the after now i want to test another lot again i'll just go through this 3d lot file and select let's say select this black other black magic and as you can see this is the before and this is the after if i want to still select another one i will just have to move through this black and white black magic black and white and as you can see this is the before and this is the after so i'm done with the tutorial for installing and using lots for adobe photoshop so i want to move to premiere pro now i will just have to cancel this photoshop and close it once the photoshop is closed i will have to move to adobe premiere pro so now i'm going to show you how to use lots in adobe premiere pro how to install it through two different methods i'm going to be showing you the first method now which is to go to windows just select windows then you move to lumetri color once the lumetri color is open you are going to see that this setting box is here so now we want to select the lot that we are going to be using just go to this basic correction here you are going to see input lot and none click on the none and this box is going to open there are some other lots that are already saved here but we are going to be selecting browse now once the browse is open the next thing you will have to do now is to look for where you save the lot that you download or purchase now i'm just going to go through the magic lot pack and open it once the magic lot pack is open i just want to select any other one let me move to this color grading landscape and double click on it and the effect is going to apply on the video and as you can see the video has changed once the video is playing you can see that the color of the video has changed so let's fast forward it now and you will see that the way the video is is not the way the video was before you can also set some of these things here like you can increase the contrast and reduce it if we click on this lumetri color again and select clear you are going to see that the video has changed back to the way it was before so now to save the lot in the adobe premiere pro application all you have to do the first thing you have to do is to cancel it then we are going to either save or cancel so i'm just going to select no and allow the adobe photoshop application to close once the application is closed we are going to move to our windows c folder and the next place now i'm going to go is to the folder in which i save the lot that i download so i download the magic lot pack and i'm just going to move to this black and white folder and select all the black and white lots i select like around nine lots so now press ctrl 
see on your keyboard or you can right click and more option and select copy now we want to go back to the windows folder the windows c i'm just going to click it and look for where our adobe premiere pro application was installed or where the file is saved so i'm just going to move to this program files for windows and move to adobe then i'm going to see the main adobe premiere pro application folder i'm going to look for lumetri once the lumetri is open now you are going to look for lots once the lot is open we are going to be moving the lot into two folders to the creative and to the technical just open the creative and right click and paste it so select more option and paste or you press ctrl v on your keyboard once you have pasted it on this one you have to move back to the technical and paste it on the technical to press your ctrl v or you right click and paste it once you have pasted it now we are going to open the premiere pro application once the premiere pro application is open all you have to do now is to import a video into adobe premiere pro so i'm just going to select this video and then move it into adobe premiere pro now that the video is inside adobe premiere pro folder we are going to move to our windows and look for lumetri color once the lumetri color is open just go to your basic corrections once you open your basic corrections we are going to now look for the lots that we already save and install into adobe premiere pro so just go to input lots and select the none now we are going to see all the black and white lots that we installed now let's count it one two three four five six seven eight nine and it's complete we installed nine black and white lots so now i'm just going to click on this first one black and white blue tint and as you can see the effect has shown if you like you can change it i'm just going to click on this black and white brand now and the effect has shown on the video so once we play the video you are going to see that the effect has displayed on the video throughout all your video the video is going to look like this the color of the video if you feel like you want to still change it again let's select black and white gray highlights from the beginning to the end the video is going to look like this you can use this lot to color grade your video i'm going to leave a link in the description of this this video for you to click to purchase this dirty studio magical lot pack the lot pack is very good it has different color grading and skin tone lots for both adobe premiere pro adobe photoshop and other adobe applications or other editing applications that accept lots this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching subscribe for more videos turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out